There are at least three red flags with liberal feminists. And if you're on dating apps and you're going out on dates, you're going to come across this where either directly she's going to have on her dating profile that she's a feminist or she's going to bring that up in your conversations. And you need to be aware of these three red flags specifically. All right. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification button because we're dropping a video every day. All right. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm all for equal rights. Okay. I don't think anyone should be discriminated against. And I'm not going to get into what rights I support and all that stuff. But in general, I agree with equal rights. Nobody should be discriminated against. But if you come across someone and they're far left of the spectrum, you need to be aware of these three red flags, okay? Because it's going to cost you down the road. Mark my words. All right. So if she calls herself a feminist or considers herself a feminist, here are the three red flags. Number one, she will not accept traditional roles. And what I mean by that is the role where the man is leading and the man is the provider and that she's okay with that. Most importantly, that she's willing to be in a submissive role and allowing the man to lead. For example, I was married before 20 years, been single two and a half years. And man, I tell you, my ex-wife considered herself a feminist and I'm originally from Canada and I moved to Atlanta, Georgia for my work. And in Canada, it's a very socialist society. And the thing is my then ex-wife, I was totally fine with, okay, whatever you, you want to believe. Cool. No problem. Well, guess what? It bit me in the ass and you know how she didn't want to move anywhere. This became the deal breaker at the end and why I ended up divorcing. She didn't want to move even five hours away to a city where I could make more money for all of us and grow in my career because I was always the career person and the main breadwinner. She didn't want to move to another city. Okay, in fairness, that, that city was like way across the other side of the country. And then the deal breaker was she didn't want to move to Atlanta for my work. And I, like I said, I was always the breadwinner always earning more, substantially more. And she just held firm on, nope, I'm not moving. And, and not being in the submissive role that she should have been and allowing the, me to lead and following her leader as a husband. So if a woman is proud to say she's a feminist, that's red flag number one. She will not accept you leading. And I'm just saying that. Number two, she ultimately wants to rule over you. That is it. There's a, this angst. There's this feminist in general, and I'm saying in its purest sense, don't like the patriarchy. This dates back to the way feminists started. And it also dates back to a verse in the Bible. And I'm not going to go on about religious things because I appreciate all kinds of religious texts that have awesome life learning nuggets. And one of the things that, that in the Bible that it says is that you will desire your husband and he will rule over you. So basically the meaning of that is that she will want his power. She will want to re rule over him. And that is at the end of the day, the ultimate goal of feminists is to rule over men. And yet here's the reality, guys. They will never rule over men ever. Why? Because they need men in order to manage other men, right? Men are the stronger between the two genders, the two species. Okay. We are without a doubt. There's no argument there. So how could they rule over? How could a woman rule over men? And just as a society, right, in terms of a matriarchy, when yet they need men to do the fighting. They need men for their strength. So that's not going to happen. But that's at the end of the day, that's what feminists want. They want to rule over men. 
in a matriarchy kind of standpoint, but yet that's never going to happen. So number three, she wants 50-50, but yet you're paying most of the bills. <laughs> okay, so it's not 50-50. And I'm just gonna put it out there. If it's not 50-50 where you're both earning the same, like if it's 50-50, you're basically earning the same, right? So you should have basically the same, um, but not really in a traditional sense, the man should be the one leading. But I'm saying in a financial sense, if one person is earning, like it was in my case, substantially more, is it really 50-50? Now, I'm not going to be argumentative with someone I'm with and I appreciate their opinion, but I'm going to be with someone now who will say, look, here's my opinion on it, but you're making most of the money. So I trust that you'll make the right decision for us, right? But traditional feminists, they want 50-50, but yet he's paying most of the bills because that's most cases in relationships. He's paying most of the bills, but they want the 50-50. The other thing is, <laughs> it's funny, it's feminists, they want equal rights, but yet they don't want to be drafted to, into, into the draft to go to war. So if you ask a feminist, hey, look, okay, you want equal rights, great. Well, if there's a draft calling all men and women and it's a random draft that we need bodies to go to war, are you okay with that too? Well, no, I think that's a man's job. Oh, okay. So it starts to all break down when you really look at 50-50, right? It's like they want equal pay, which I agree with, but then provide equal value or do the same risk of a job. Like, for example, only 12% of police officers are women because most women don't want to do those jobs. It's only 5% are firefighters, 5% working on oil rigs. Only 12% are in the military because in general, women don't want to do those dangerous jobs, but yet they want to have the same pay but less risk, if that makes sense. And by the way, this whole wage gap thing, they're factoring in all the jobs that men are doing, right? All the high risk jobs and overall, and when you take the average salary of what a man earns, of course, it's going to be more than a woman's because most men work longer hours and we work more dangerous jobs, right? And I just gave you an example of policing, fire, oil rigs, military example i look outside my building here and there's nothing but skyscrapers everywhere and cranes cranes a dude has to climb up that crane every single day to operate that and that is dangerous i see basically spider-man a few times a year on the crawling along these buildings cleaning the windows i never see a woman doing that i'm, I'm not no disrespect to women i'm just saying that you know, women want equality, great. But then also, why are you not doing the same dangerous jobs? And the answer has always been, well, because we don't have to. So again, just watch out for this. If you see on a woman's profile that she's a feminist, right? Or you're in conversation, she says she's a feminist. That is a red flag. And those are the three that I gave you that she's not going to accept traditional roles. She ultimately wants to rule over you and men. And three, she wants 50-50, but yet also wants you to pay most of the bills. All right. So let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.